Hi, I'm Alec with Matter Hackers, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Twitch block. We've had a lot of questions on how you're supposed to build a Twitch block, so we figured we'd make a video and walk you through it step by step. So let's take a look at some of the parts that you need. Six M3 heat inserts, six M3 flathead bolts, super glue, an M2 hex wrench, a soldering iron, and two disc magnets. For the main block, take your threaded inserts and the soldering iron and gently press them into the sides. This may take a little work initially, but once it starts to heat up, it'll get a lot easier to press it in. Just repeat this for the three sides that need threaded inserts. For the flexible button, insert it through the panel, then screw it on. These should thread into the threaded inserts and be really easy to insert. For the button side, you'll need the button panel, the soft buttons, the hard buttons, and the cam, along with two screws and an Allen key. Insert the flexible buttons into the panel, and then take the toggle cam. You're gonna have to jam this into the main block. It'll take a little effort, so don't be afraid to really push on it. Then take the panel with the buttons in it, press it on top, take the screws, and screw it all together. Once that's done, your button side will be complete and you can play with them as you want. For the maze side, you'll need the maze panel, the maze button, and two screws. This will be really easy to assemble. You just have to put the panel on top, wedge the button through it, and then screw it all together. And there you go, a little button you can run through the maze. For the top with the touch, you just need the touch panel, some cyanoacrylic glue, and accelerant. Put a drop of glue on each of the corners and the top, a little spray in the piece and press it all together, and there you go. For the button side, you're going to need the ball and the top, along with accelerant and cyanoacrylate. Put a drop of glue on each of the dots, and then a little accelerant on the back of the panel and press it all together. There you go, a little ball to roll around. For the magnet rings, these will need to be inserted into the main body during the print. You'll need two magnets, cyanoacrylate, and more accelerant. Squeeze in some glue into the hole and press in the magnets. It may take a little work to get them to fit depending on your printer's tolerances. You can either attract or repel the magnets depending on your preference. Personally, I like to have them attract. There you go, little magnet rings. So there you have it. That's how I put together a Matter Hacker Twitch block. And for more information on 3D printing and for all the materials you need for a Twitch block, go to matterhackers.com. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all the latest videos. And don't forget, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.